If you are trying to chase the film look in DaVinci Resolve, this tutorial is for you. When movies are shot on film, they are processed and reprinted on very specific film stock, 2383 Kodak print film. In a very wide sense, 2383 is essential for the film color palette that every filmmaker relates the term cinematic with. Mostly because for decades it was the primary medium for consuming cinema. Luckily, there's an inbuilt LUT with DaVinci Resolve that can help you achieve film-like colors. In this episode of Colorist Factory, we'll learn how to use the film 2383 film LUT that comes with DaVinci Resolve to its full potential. 2383 LUT palettes have long been utilized as a creative tool by digital filmmakers, even though they were originally designed for filmmakers shooting on film to preview their work before printing it back onto 2383 film material. Now, let's get started. As you can see, we have our footage in DaVinci along with our basic node tree. We have our white balance, primaries, grain and Rec. 709 color space transform. For those who don't know what the last node does here, it basically transforms your footage from the color space it was shot into Rec. 709. It basically works in replacement of a log to Rec. 709 LUT, only offering more utility and flexibility. But that will be the topic of some other day. Let's go ahead and add another node. Now, if you were to apply a 2383 film LUT, you would go to the LUTs tab and apply any of the available LUTs under Film Looks. But the moment you apply the LUT, you can see that we have an overly contrasty image here. You can see that in the LUT name, it says that it's a Rec. 709 LUT. But when we apply it, the results don't look that pleasing. The reason this happens is that, as I mentioned earlier, this LUT is actually designed for scanned film footage. The scanned film footage comes in the color space gamma Cineon Film Log. In order to use our Kodak LUT, we'll have to convert our digital footage into the color gamma space of the scanned footage. This is pretty simple. Let's turn off our LUT node. Let's also rename it as LUT. Now all you have to do is go to the Rec. 709 Color Space Transform node, change the output gamma to Cineon Film Log. Now let's go ahead and enable our LUT node. There you have it! The film-like colors for your digital stuff. Now to see how much of a difference this brings to the table, let's capture a still of our footage. Let's reset the output gamma to Rec. 709 and disable the LUT node. As we wipe back and forth between Rec. 709 with Kodak 2383, you can see the subtle film palette in action. There's a signature film split tone. The skin tones look absolutely wonderful. The highlights have a subtle warmth and the shadows have a beautiful cold tone to them. Other colors like green are also shifted within the signature film color ballpark range. Let's take a look at our next shot. Again, we'll repeat the same steps, apply, LUT, disable LUT and select output gamma as Cineon Film Log in the previous color space transform node. Here's a quick comparison between Rec. 709 and Kodak 2383. You can see the signature split toning is adding an overall cinematic essence to the image. Is it possible to get something else out of this set of tools while they're still part of the DaVinci Resolve ecosystem? If you are interested in taking it a step forward, you should check out our 2383 print film emulations power grades. Film characteristics are baked into the print film LUT, but you can add or remove characteristics from a base film look in order to create your own unique variations with the power grade rebuilds of 2383 stock. If you're interested in learning how to use our power grades in DaVinci in preparation for the 2022 launch of our film emulation, there's a detailed 25-page user guide. Before applying the 2383 characteristics to your image, we run it through our proprietary image processing pipeline to give it a more refined look. As a result, 
the package includes a wide range of power grades that can be used for creative or technical purposes. You can see exactly how each step affects the image you are working with. We've included links to Film Forever emulations in the description if you'd like to check them out. ArtGrid has provided us with the stunning footage you see here. Check out ArtGrid if you're looking for stunning collections of raw footage for color, editing, music videos or film projects. You'll get an extra two months if you click on the link in the description. When it comes to color grading techniques in Film Forever grades, we have more videos and tutorials in the works. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon and follow us on Instagram at colorist.factory to never miss an update. Until we meet again.